Siemens gets it. I mean, you know, that, that's really where the future on, uh, on our economy is, is really revitalizing manufacturing, and Siemens is doing it. They invited me to their summer internship, and I loved it. I really had no clue of all the things that I wanted to manufacturing. But then you actually go into it and you get to see what it's like, how clean, how well lit, how everything just functions together uh, as an orchestra. It's uh, a really enlightening experience. And while I was at Siemens, I just learned a lot about how power production goes on, how to learn with other people, how to communicate with other people, and how to make sure that I come off and people know that, you know, this is a positive individual right here that's, you know, ready to get to work. Well, I think one of the biggest problems you have with high school is kids don't see the relevancy. So their ability to come in and be able to actually uh, mentor, coach with kids, uh, have direct engagement with them, and by working with our teachers, um, you know, kids are able to see more how this is going to benefit me in the future, how this really becomes a real skill and competency that I'll need later in life. Well, uh, manufacturing is suddenly cool again, so I think students like to do cool stuff. The idea of EPIC came uh, from industry, uh, including large companies like Siemens, uh, to develop a program here at UNC Charlotte in the energy space. Siemens provided as part of the EPIC uh, support, uh, financial support of about $4.3 million. It is uh, helped to develop a large-scale manufacturing laboratory here on campus, campus in our EPIC building. It helped to uh, support students uh, in terms of scholarships. And it also helped to uh, bring faculty from uh, Germany back to um, Charlotte and to have that cross-cultural sort of experience, both for our students but also for our faculty. Siemens is involved with, with curriculum development by helping uh, senior design projects, uh, by helping uh, graduate students to work uh, at Siemens and also here in, in, at the university to have that hands-on experience as part of their education. Of all the companies I've seen in my many years of working with companies, Siemens probably makes the greatest investment in workforce development and in training. We did pre-employment training, we did orientation for all of the new hires, and then we did specialized training for jobs and also in the soft skills like leadership and teamwork and customer focus. We worked closely with the Workforce Development Boards and they developed a portal. And so based on the competencies required for the job, Siemens told us what they needed. And then we helped train to those competencies. We had candidates from all over the 16 counties in the Charlotte, USA region to apply to work at Siemens. A lot from South Carolina because of their proximity to South Carolina. Siemens offers the candidates to make the cut an opportunity to work with a world-class company that provides a great quality product with excellent benefits to the employee and ability to move up in within their system there. Well, to have a company like Siemens adding good craftspeople as it is, is a huge boon to our area and that word gets out and makes us more appealing to others. For our communities, having a company like Siemens to hire 850 plus people is terrific. It is a ripple effect that goes throughout our entire economy. Their suppliers you know, are only in the Charlotte, USA region, throughout North Carolina, hire individuals too. So it only benefits communities right here in Charlotte, but throughout our entire region. We feel like we've built a tremendous partnership uh, with Siemens over a very short period of time, just over the last year. Siemens expansion hasn't only affected CBM in a positive way, it's also kind of been sort of a trickle-down effect because of the subcontractors that we use. When you start thinking in terms of water jetting or heat treating or even the material suppliers that we buy our material from. I mean all of these companies have had to benefit from the expansion of Siemens in this area. For instance turbo coatings in Catawba County. 15 million dollar investment more than 100 employees is here because it's a supplier to Siemens. I can only think that this year and next year are going to be even more positive for CBM and the impact will even be greater.